Oh, thank you. Thank you. Well. Oh, what do you want? I am a drunk. Oh, I never thought I would ever have to admit something like that. It's so easy for me to criticize AJ and Judge Allen when he was addicted to pills. Boy, I've spent my life pushing people away and locking them out of my life. Mike, are you dying? Should I call Edward? No. What I am doing is going to rehab. And you were right. I did. I ran over Sam McCall. And why didn't you admit it? I don't know. I don't know. Because I'm a drunk. I don't know. But there's no need for you to keep blackmailing me. You and Luke can move back into the house. Maybe I never should have thrown you out in the first place. I'm glad you came to your senses. I'll have the lawyers take care of the drug. No, Tracy, no. No, I am going to take responsibility for what I did. Monica, why admit to something nobody can prove? Well, for starters, you and Luke have been collecting evidence and spreading it all over town. Doesn't mean we're going to take it to the police. I ran over Sam McCall. I left the scene. I'm not going to pretend otherwise. You hit Sam? <laughs> so loud. And if I don't take responsibility for this, I'm just going to end up... Probably right back here, and probably drunk. Oh, how do you know that? You've only been sober since breakfast. Lulu, um, I am going into treatment for alcoholism. But I do want to apologize to you. I haven't exactly made you feel welcome in my house. Oh, well, I haven't exactly been easy to get along with. Anyway, I'm sorry. And you and your father can move back in any time you want. Are you sure? Yes. Actually, I've kind of missed you, and so has Edward, although he would not admit that. Hey, I'm going to need a minute. She's all yours. So, how are you feeling? Okay. Headaches? Word vision? So, what was that about? I will always believe that my brother could have done better than Monica. However, sometimes... Never mind. Is getting old. I have some great news. Great. Give me the boost. Why? So you can have another heart attack? My liver is parched. Don't you want to hear the good news? Monica says we can move back in. How'd that happen? I, I don't know. She saw the light or something. Anyway, I, I moved our stuff back in, and Alice is thrilled. She's got to cook, make it up, a lunch of all your favorite stuff. TLC from Alice. How sweet. Yeah? And you're moving back in to what? Keep an eye on the old man? What? What, who doesn't love servants waiting on you hand and foot? A garage full of cars, a hot wire, including a Bentley? You know, I hate our house as much as you do. Reminds me of when you left me as a kid and my mom came back and sometimes it feels like the walls are closing in on me there. You know what? They do. That place is like the Amityville Horror. So we're moving back into the quarter mates? <laughs> <laughs> well, since you put it like that, <laughs> lock up the booze and hide the silver. The Spencers are going home! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, sorry, sorry, take sorry. it easy, baby. Oh, how good to be home. I am so jonesing for some of Alice's pampering. Is there a dominator in the house? Papa's home! Would you stop that bellowing? Hi, boy. Hello, We're back. darling. Your room is ready and waiting, see? What did I tell you? Just as soon as you take your father back to wherever he's living.